Hello guys and congratulations on finishing all those calculations and today we're going to um, now in this session in this video we're going to graph our uh, Markowitz model so uh, it's not uh, very difficult since we are actually basing this model on only two uh, assets and uh, you have to know how to use the command key or the control key so oh, if you are a user of MacBook Pro be careful that the option key is now actually not working for some computers so you are instead use the command key because what we'll do is we'll do the return, we'll actually do the return, and after we do the return, we have to hold it and select the standard deviation. So you are actually going to use either the core control key or the command key. For some people, the option key doesn't work. I'm a MacBook Pro 2017 user, so I use a MacBook Pro 2017, and I try the option, I try the control, but it doesn't actually hold these cells for me. So if your option doesn't, if your control doesn't work, try command instead. And for window users, I think you just keep with your normal, uh, normal schedule. No most thing yeah, you're going to work. I think it's going to work. MacBook has this uh, problem. So now I hold it and I get standard deviation. Wait a while. After you select main, you just hold it and now you can graph. You do insert. Insert, you get a chart. Insert chart. Insert chart, you see the automatically the, it gives you something like a bar chart or so, something that doesn't help you. You go down and see the schedule plot. Schedule plot will be our friend for our finance analytics. And you will see this thing here, doesn't matter. Now we have to work on more. So first of all, now what you have to do is make sure you actually go to setup and then make sure you're doing well with accessing. So for accessing, we actually want the standard deviation. So we do it here, which is standard deviation instead of a mean. And for our series, series will in here, in this case, you'll work as our y-axis and please select mean. So now you have the mean and uh, now you selected mean, the standard deviation. So our axis is actually our risk standard deviation and the y-axis is actually our return, which are from mean return given our diversification. So now you can see this is the pattern we want for our Markowitz model in this project. And now we can actually do uh, our I would say do our label. So we have this door here, and now we want them to be labeled. So it's pretty easy. You go to this called so called customize, and you go to series, and then you just click the. You have three options: arrow bars, data labels, trend line, and you just go to data labels. And now you got the label, but the label is not correct. The label is not correct because we want the label to be the risk adjusted return. So when a investor when a client look at this market which model they can quickly see which return can provide them with the highest return given the lowest risk so in this case let's we have to change the our series let's change our series so now we have this so we we go to setup again and we have our series you can remember the series here and you just get add label and now we want our adjusted return and you can see you don't have this option here, right here, so you cannot select. So please do it manually by selecting a data range. And the range we want is our sharp ratio, which is L2 to L13. Please type it manually as well, because um, the Google Sheet is not pretty happy when you automatically select for the range. So just type manually L2 to L13, and boom, OK. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you can now see the risk adjusted ratio. So I mentioned before the 60% and 40% combination is the best ratio that gives us a 0 0.30 and we can see then here 0 0.30. So this is our best portfolios actually here. If it's a bit unclear, please you can adjust the doors by yourself and this is basically our model. So now let's uh, make more design to our model. Let's do some design. First of all, we want to give them a title. So the top title will be, uh, will be stock for spawn, Markowitz. So our model name is pretty simple and uh, let's change the color as well. So it's based on your own design. I like Vedadana, so I'll use Vedadana and uh, I'll use the uh, font size. I'm pretty happy with that, but we can make this graph larger. Definitely, you can make it bigger. And uh, maybe I'll change the text color to black. It's more clear. I'll use Vedadana. And now let's add a subtitle to our course and subtitle, let's, we can say uh, um, diversification, portfolio diversification, portfolio diversification. And let's also uh, use that. I use Georgia, pretty uh, like, I'll just keep it very done. Uh, and uh, I'll make it a little bit bigger. I would say 16 is pretty much good um, uh, found. And that's okay, yeah. And now if you want to change the color, we can format the color. I, I personally like the, I like this color pretty good. It's like a grapefruit, pretty kind of a provide a satisfactory look. And now the important part is to do our title. So you can see the chart axis title. Other than the subtitle and title, you can add horizontal title, which are risk. Horizontal means a flat point. So risk 
and please state the standard deviation so they know well uh, how did you calculate the risk and please increase the font size to uh, 16 and uh, you can get your own uh, favorite um, favorite font but color as well the vertical we have our return and uh, calculate for me so I have our return let's also make it larger how do you like 18 16 maybe 16 and like this so yeah do you draw it? I like George yeah so this is pretty much about that and you can see now the doors are a bit confusing so we can if you want you can change the side of this circle so if you change the side to this sorry if you make it larger it can be more clear but I don't think it works so seven is a good point and uh, you can also change the size so if I change it to smaller yeah if I do it smaller it won't be confusing and you can see the line here you also have the line so you can better see which point correspond to which since these two are pretty close together so okay guys this is pretty much about that guys how about that so this is our project and congratulations on completing this pretty short maybe one hour to our project i don't know how do you take it when i first firstly uh, initiated this project myself i actually took quite long because i was a bit confusing on calculating the variance but if you uh, actually do this with me you actually do it step by step i think you can do it within two hours so on um, this project just to give you a head start in portfolio diversification to make you understand why do we diversify and what is risk adjusted ratio what the standard deviation variance correlation covariance and the sharp ratio and uh, what is our Markowitz model so Markowitz model does not only look like this it can look pretty complicated with many elements added inside such as a moving average or other elements and it can be a diversification of many assets more than this two so um, this just should be your final data it can look a bit different you can have a different color design but the pattern should be this if you have followed my uh, project correctly so guys and thank you for joining me on this market wish product and uh, project and uh, hope i can see you in more complicated project in the future so this is pretty much about this and um, thank you for participating it's my honor to teach you and if you have any, any queries related to this project or any formulas in google sheet please comment below in end of my video i will definitely respond to you within a day and uh, this is pretty much about our final mark with model so thank you for completing this project and i want to give my uh, credit i want to give my credit to mr uh berkrubeck ochilov because he originally delete here uh mr uh, berkrubeck ochilov originally designed this project including he designed or he's an investment banking professional only 20 years old he actually uh, designed all this data that i used for this sheet and he actually originally gave me a lot of insights on mark with model so i definitely view his profile and uh learn from his courses he has project courses on coursera so uh, definitely check out uh ochilov berkrubeck's um Coursera course and this is pretty much about our project so i hope to see you in the future and if you're also interested in supply chain management you can check out my youtube channel i have a 43 videos course on the supply chain management that is more about a business related topic but here is more about investment finance that is both applicable to personal investment and a uh, corporate portfolio management or uh, like banking yeah so that's pretty much about that and i'll see you in the future bye